Back everyone, new today, Travis Scott returned to social media for the first time since the asteroid tragedy in November. ABC 13's Brittany Wilmer has been looking through his latest posts on social media, and Brittany, it sounds like all this can be summed up with one word. Yes, Rita, that's right. That word is heal. That is the name of Travis Scott's new project aimed at focusing on event safety, as well as investing $5 million in communities in Texas and historically black colleges and universities in the Houston area could benefit too. Go ahead and take a look at Scott's post about it here on Instagram, where he said he feels as a leader in the community, he needed to step up. Project Heal has four pillars meant to help young people, especially those who are considered at risk and from marginalized communities through scholarships, free mental health services, and tech, which is the part that's geared toward event safety. Now, it starts with granting $1 million in scholarships to seniors at HBCUs through a fund named after Scott's grandfather, Wayman Webster. Wayman Webster was a Prairie View A&M alum, and he also taught there. PV and Texas Southern University are among the HBCUs Scott has supported before. But also here in Houston, part of Project Heal will include a seven-figure expansion of the Cactus Youth Design Center a multi-use space for students in the East End. This was video from back in November when Scott unveiled it just before his festival. As for what Scott hopes to change with large-scale events like his own, that's where his project says he wants to bring together people from tech, government, emergency response, and more to look at the challenges large events bring. It's supposed to end with a report of recommendations given to the mayor of any city hosting a big event like a festival. Now, while there's not a timeline right now for when some of these pillars will happen, the Project Hill website says more information will be rolled out this year. Live in the newsroom, I'm Brittany Wilmore. Back to you.